Are you feeling tired and sluggish? Are you struggling to build muscle mass or maintain your strength? Well, low testosterone could be the culprit. In this video, we'll uncover the little known facts about testosterone and how it impacts your body and your overall health. From its role in bone health to its effects on mood, you'll be surprised by what you learn about this vital hormone. So if you want to boost your energy and get back to feeling your best, keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that we want to discuss is a little known fact that testosterone levels naturally decline with age. Now, testosterone replacement therapy has been in the news lately, and many people are becoming more aware of the importance of testosterone and its hormones, both for men and for women. And so this may not come as a surprise, even though it's considered a little known fact that testosterone levels do naturally decline with age. And testosterone levels usually peak when you're younger, um, in teens to the 20s and then slowly decline each decade thereafter age 20 to 30. So anyway the decline in testosterone that people refer to is sometimes known as andropause. It's just kind of a made-up word trying to be similar to menopause. It's been coined as uh, to make people more aware of what's happening with the decline in men's hormones and as I've said in previous videos there's a real stigma around uh, testosterone use in men and so having a word or a phrase to encompass all this helps get the awareness out of this important issue that affects men's health, uh, that being andropause as part of the aging process. But it's not quite the same as menopause. Menopause uh, usually happens within a certain time frame. Uh, one could experience a pause in their androgens uh, really at any time in life uh, after puberty. Some even during puberty have less than what they would need to have for testosterone levels, hence they have unfinished puberty or don't fully develop. So uh, low testosterone can be referred to as andropause, but that's usually for as people age, there's this normal and, and natural decline. Now also women in menopause can also experience low testosterone levels, and that's why it's important to have a balance of all the hormones in women, testosterone, estradiol, and progesterone. And so do you know what else uh, declines over time? Sometimes our watch views on this channel decline over time. So please continue to watch the video until the end. So we're going to discuss all of the content about the five little known facts that occur around testosterone. The second little known fact about testosterone they may not know about is its role in bone health. Uh, testosterone is responsible for maintaining bone density. One of the ways it does this, this density and its strength of, of the bone is through the conversion of testosterone to estradiol. Now we know that low testosterone levels have been linked to an increase in osteoporosis. Now we tend to think of osteoporosis as being that which affects women, uh, but it also affects men because as men get older, the level of testosterone declines. And if you have less testosterone, the substrate that makes testosterone, then what happens is you also then have less estradiol. Now I know if you're a younger person, you don't like the estradiol, some of you guys, but you have to realize that estradiol, and we'll have another video about it, but estradiol is responsible for the sex drive, the libido, and also healthy and strong bones. So now the third little known fact about testosterone may be its role in having um, proper cognitive function. And some studies even suggest that testosterone may have a positive effect on your cognitive abilities like memory and verbal fluency. Now I can say from my own experience of being on TRT for 26 years, actually going on 27 years, that it has helped me with the general ability for you know, cognition. I've even noticed sometimes really good reflexes that I may not have experienced before. Lots of men and women will complain of a foggy brain, foggy mind, can't think clearly, not very good uh, spatial awareness. Testosterone can help with that. The next little known fact that you may not be aware of is the protective effect of testosterone against cardiovascular disease. Low testosterone has been linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. And some of the latest research suggests that testosterone therapy may even have a protective effect. Now, traditionally, people were demonizing testosterone. I remember this in the 1990s. They're like, oh, testosterone, you'll have a heart attack. You know, and a lot of men still have this fear that was tied to the stigma around testosterone that's going to have a negative effect. We sometimes get some men will, on the channel will ask us, hey, what, uh, you know, is it okay that I'm on testosterone you know, for the rest of my life? Is it going to have some negative effect? Almost as if they are doing something wrong or naughty. In fact, testosterone can have a healthy impact on your heart health. 
now there may be some transient issues that people have when they first start testosterone. Some men may feel like, uh, you know, oh, my blood pressure is high. But when they measure the blood pressure, and in some of the studies, it actually modulates and improves blood uh, pressure over time. When one says, I feel I have high blood pressure, they may not realize that there is a, a little phrase that goes along with blood pressure, and that is, uh, blood pressure is a silent killer. So if it's silent, you're not going to know you have high blood pressure unless it's measured. And in general, in some of the, the, the latest research, you know, testosterone can normalize blood pressure, but there are uh, other factors that go into that, as well as protecting against cardiovascular disease. I think people are becoming more and more aware is that testosterone plays a role in mood and mental health for both men and women. Uh, testosterone is involved uh, in the regulation of mood through uh, minimizing depression in men. We know that men who start on TRT normally and usually feel much better in their mood and well-being. And there may be some cases when that doesn't always happen, but in, there may be some other underlying conditions or comorbidities behind why some men may still experience depression on TRT. Anyway, speaking of depression, I sometimes tend to get depressed when I see that we don't get enough views, likes, or people subscribing. So please consider, if you haven't already, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. So testosterone is an important hormone for both men and women. It plays a huge role in all aspects of our health and well-being. And if you think you're experiencing symptoms of low testosterone, it's important to speak to a doctor, to a healthcare provider, or contact Balance My Hormones, where we support men and women in the UK and Europe to help get an assessment, to get a blood test, and to find out what the best course of action is for you. Thanks for watching, and do leave comments if you found this video helpful, and we'll see you next time.